we take every precaution to lower your risk of infection during surgery. That's why before your procedure, you'll wash with a special cleanser called chlorhexidine, which you can buy over the counter at your local pharmacy. Follow these directions to ensure that you use this cleanser correctly. Starting two days before your surgery, you will begin showering once a day with the chlorhexidine for a total of three showers. Your last shower will be the day of surgery. Begin by washing your face and hair with your regular soap and shampoo. Then turn off the shower or step out of the water stream to apply the chlorhexidine. Put the chlorhexidine on a clean wet washcloth or use your hands to apply the cleanser. Apply it to your whole body from the neck down. Pay special attention to your underarms, under your breasts, your groin area, where your legs meet your torso, and the area where you're going to have surgery. Avoid your face and genitals. You should use an entire four ounce bottle of the chlorhexidine for each shower. After applying the chlorhexidine, let it stand for one minute prior to rinsing. Rinse the chlorhexidine off your body. Then gently blot your skin dry with a clean towel. Put on clean pajamas or clothes. On the morning of your surgery, do not use any lotions, creams, powders, perfumes, or oils after your shower. You may apply deodorant. The next section of this video is for people who received a call after their pre-admission screening appointment, alerting them of a positive nasal culture. If you did not receive a call, you can stop watching this video now. People who test positive for Staph aureus bacteria need to take a few extra steps before surgery. Testing positive for this bacteria doesn't mean you have a Staph infection or are sick. One-third of healthy people naturally live with Staph bacteria on the skin at any given time and almost never get sick. But these bacteria do increase the likelihood of an infection after surgery, so your medical team will ask you to take a few extra precautions. By taking the following precautions, your risk of infection will be the same as those who did not have Staph aureus. You'll start showering with the chlorhexidine cleanser five days before your surgery for a total of six showers. You'll need three extra bottles of the chlorhexidine, or a total of six bottles. The showering process will be the same as described earlier in this video. Additionally, starting five days before surgery, you'll also apply an antibiotic ointment called mupuricin to the inside of your nose. The nurse practitioner will call a prescription into your pharmacy. First, place a pea-sized amount of the ointment to the end of a Q-tip. Gently apply the ointment to the inside of each nostril. This shouldn't hurt. The Q-tip should only be inserted about a half inch, or the size of the head of a Q-tip, into the nostril. Apply twice a day, starting five days prior to your surgery. The last dose will be the morning of surgery, 